Hey y'all, Yosh here, and we're going to be checking out a handheld device today. Uh, it's called the Mini Game Player. So while I anxiously wait for my uh, Steam Deck, which is not getting here till October. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get- I was on a binge of ordering a bunch of handheld devices. Uh, I What I did was is, so I have a few that I'm planning on reviewing soon, um, which you guys will see the video coming up in later weeks, maybe months, I don't know. My YouTube upload schedule is terrible right now, but I do stream three nights a week, mostly, kinda. But anyway, I ordered a handful of handheld devices and um, I've been wanting to go through them. And I figured, you know, I haven't posted a video, I think, at all this year. <laughs> and I think it's time to get back on track. Um, don't worry, some other videos are still coming and are going to be in the works soon. But I felt compelled to make this handheld video today so here it is the mini game player it's a 500 games in one device so this is most likely going to be nintendo games nintendo rom hacks things like that which usually comes with devices like this but i still like to look at them anyway um, because a lot of times people do wind up buying devices like this when they want a handheld device to use so I make these videos to kind of go through them and kind of steer you away from that because there are better options out there. I already posted a Pocket Go review, which is a very good handheld device to use if you want to play Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy games, Super Nintendo games, things like that. It's a great device and I'm going to be going through some other budget devices in the future as well um, in case you want to get your hands on to use for things like that and of that nature. But Let's dive into this and open up the packaging and see what's inside. All right, so as we can see here, it is the mini game player. It is a 500 games in one device. Uh, it is a little ripped up because when I opened up the packaging, uh, it was a little stuck, but it's okay. Um, supports up to five languages, which is cool. And they say it's a digital game system, 2.5, 2.4 inch wide LCD, slim, portable, and trendy with the ultra thin body and small size. You can easily put it in your pants pocket. Take out the game machine at any time to pass the time without any restriction. And we got it in the blue color. So yeah, let's uh open this up. See what's inside, eh? All right, got something. Let's see, of course, got our little charger wire. Looks like it's a uh, just typical USB. And then we got our manual, which is just a one page manual. And we have our game device. And wow, this thing is definitely uh, pretty thin. Uh, if I do say so myself, um, I don't think I really have anything to compare it, but uh, it's definitely um, thin. <laughs> so we have our on off switch here. We have our D pad. A, B, X, Y buttons. Uh, don't understand why some of these handhelds have this option. Uh, Cause most of the time it's just gonna be A and B to use. Uh, we have start, volume, plus minus. So it looks like it's just one button to control the volume, not select, which is weird. And a reset button. So that's cool. And it looks like we have a little little thing here. Yeah, let's do a little, a little peel back, huh? Oh, look at that. Oh, this takes up the whole thing. Oh, this is going to be a fingerprint machine. Let's see. Not as bad as I thought it would be, actually. One thing about these buttons, though, they're definitely clicky. Definitely clicky. So I, I wanted to switch my camera to kind of show you how clicky it is. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it through here. Probably probably won't be able to hear it. Maybe I can talk while I do it. But yeah, that's uh that's super clicky and I'm hardly pressing the buttons. Whew. Whew. Anyway, let's uh get back to the device. Um as you can see it's very reflective. You can see the camera that I'm using uh and my face. 
Hi. <laughs> um, let's turn it on though. Let's see how it looks. Oh, okay. Uh, the screen actually doesn't look too bad. Of course, if you look at it through like different angles, you're going to have that bleed in effect where you can hardly see, but it has some good visuals compared to other cheaper devices like this. Um, let me see if I can alter the uh, camera a little bit too. So that way we can get a better visual of the screen. Here we go. It looks a little bit better. Um, of course, we're going to choose English. Uh, a works. Um, so let's see what we have here on this first page. We got Contra 24 and 1, Final Mission, uh, Super Bear Bros 3, Super Sprint, Turtles 2, Double Dragon, Double Dragon 2, and Adventure Island. Uh, you know what? I'm a Contra fan. Let's let's do some Contra here. Uh, probably press start. More than likely. So it has three different volume options. From what I can tell, tapping the volume button. I'm going to put it full blast. Stage one, jungle. All right, let's see how. Let's see if I can play well while. Uh, see if I can play well while my uh, finger is on the. I usually don't like... Oh, shit. I forgot that guy was there. Oh, damn. Again. Got you now. <laughs> Look at that. Game over already. All right. So we have a little reset button right here. Since we don't have a select button, I'm pretty sure I can just press this. Boom. Back to the main menu. Uh, let's check out Double Dragon, huh? The games are running perfectly fine, but... I would expect the games to work fine, mostly because it's Nintendo games. Um, most of the time out of these 501 devices or 250 plus and one devices, you're going to get nothing but Nintendo games or ROM hacks. Um, that's just that's just how it is. Um, but uh, the cool thing is, is if you're if you're a person that like just wants to play a few Nintendo games um, that you grew up with, you know, of course it might not, might not have the option. See, I don't understand why B isn't B. So X is basically B because you have to press both of the buttons at the same time to jump in double dragon. I love the soundtrack in this game, to be honest. It sounds terrible on this device though. Oh my gosh. Oof, let me let me uh let you guys hear how this sounds. Ah. Uh -uh. That's like that's like ear bleeding. So we're going to go with low sound. All right, back to things on here. I think we've pretty much seen enough of Double Dragon. Honestly though, the the screen doesn't look too bad. You know, it doesn't look too bad for what it is. Um you know, it, it's just going to be your typical 501. So you might not, you're going to get your little hacks like Super Bear Bros. Let's see what this even is. It just shows a three there, which is obviously Super Mario Brothers 3. But let's see what, what this looks like. You got to be careful with some of these ROM hacks too, because some of them are a little, some of them are a little, a little sus. So. Yeah, this just looks like regular Super Mario Brothers to me. I'm so bad at Super. So the the one the one thing I I really don't like about this thing though, is that the buttons are really clicky. So like when you have super clicky buttons, it just feels terrible to play. So, um, yeah, it's just a typical 501 device. You know, I'm not. I don't really need to get into like the details of what's all on here or anything like that. You know, we got Ninja Guide, Ninja Gaiden 2, uh, Mighty Final Fight. Final Fight wasn't on Nintendo, huh? 
Licensed by Nintendo. Capcom presents. Wait, this looks... This is definitely a ROM hack, right? Final Fight wasn't out on Nintendo. So these two buttons are the same and these two buttons are the same. So I don't remember Final Fight being on the Nintendo. So this has to be a ROM hack. It has an experience bar and everything. You know what? This is actually pretty cool though. The only thing I'm pretty sure that you can't have in this game though is save states. So like whenever you play these games, they're going to be just pick up, go play, you know, none of your, none of your save states are going to happen. You know, you're not going to have any of that. So it's pretty much going to be, uh, you pick it up, you play it for a few hours, not even a few hours, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. I mean, what's, what's the kind of play time you can really get out of, you know, Nintendo games, um, at this point. Um, but you know, play it for 10 minutes, five minutes, and then, you know, have a good time and then put it away. You know, we got toy story. I know Toy Story didn't release on, uh, I know Toy Story didn't release on N Nintendo. This is Bomberman. Is that Woody? Hold up. I need to look closely at this. No, the character just looks like, the character just looks like red from Pokemon. This is literally just Bomberman. Okay. Well, I think that's enough. I think you can pretty much see what this device is. We're going to power it off and switch camera angles yet again. So there it is. The, the mini game player. It is uh, a very, very thin device, as you can see. That's 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 me holding it up, showing how thin it is. Um, you know what? I ordered this for eighteen dollars. It was about eighteen dollars off of Wish. Um, and you know what? I would say for fifteen dollars, maybe not not a bad little thing. Um, like I said, it's only Nintendo games on here. You can't edit the ROMs. You can't edit anything on it. It just comes as is. Um, a lot of these devices, you know, like I said, 501 or 200 plus games or even a thousand and one games that, 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 that release, um, nowadays, uh, it, it's going to have pretty much nothing but Nintendo games on there and it'll be ROM hacks and things like that. And if you find a game that you really enjoy playing on this device, you got to scroll through pages and pages and pages. Um, I do recommend y'all give my Pocket Go video a look at. Like I said, that's a $40 device where you can put any any games that you want on there. Um, even up to PlayStation, it can play some PlayStation 1 games. But if you want that Nintendo, um, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, even some Game Boy Advance fix, the Pocket Go is a really good device because you can control what ROMs go on there for one. And of course, you get to enjoy the games on the go. You can enjoy save states and that. this game, this, this, this type of, you know, handheld is really good for people who uh, maybe as a gift to somebody or something like that. But I would never buy it for, you know, your own personal use. I don't think these handhelds are really worth it. Um, the really cool thing about this device that I like compared to other, um, you know, devices that have uh, pre-built games into it that you cannot edit or control is that it is thin. Thin. If you want to put this in your backpack, if you want to put this in, um, you know, your fanny pack or anything like that, or even in your pocket, it weighs next to nothing and it, it holds some pretty fun games, obviously. Like I, I got to play Double Dragon and um, Contra on the first page, which are two games that I really, really enjoy anyway. So if I ever wanted to pick it up, play it for 15 minutes while waiting at the doctor's office or um, waiting in line somewhere, you know, I have it. 
So I think I don't I don't think it's a terrible device, like I said, for what it and once again, thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you haven't, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, hang out with us for more videos coming in the future. Um, like I said, it's been a while since uh, since I actually made a YouTube which it feels uh, foreign to me now. So I got to get a little more comfortable and everything like that. You know, the more you make videos, the more comfortable you are talking and, and getting your words out and things like that. Um, I, I do have some videos that I have planned. I have a backlog of a bunch of videos that I have planned. And, uh, you know, they're going to be coming <laughs> in due time. Um, I was doing a schedule, you know, a new video every Sunday or every other Sunday. But now I'm just going to upload videos as I can. Um, it's, it's really hard sometimes being a family man, working full time, and also wanting to have a stream schedule on top of it. If you guys didn't know, I multi-stream on multiple platforms. Every time I go live, I'm live on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and Trovo all at the same time. If y'all have a preferred platform that y'all enjoy to watch content on, uh, please feel free to follow me on any of my links in the description below and uh, as I go live. And again, thank y'all for watching this video and thank y'all for listening to me to rant at the end of this video. I really do appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next video. Peace.